Hi and welcome to Bench Talk 101's Tip Talk where today we're joined by Jeff Warshawski and he's going to be saying use a bench stop. Hi and welcome to another Tip Talk. Uh, today I'm very pleased to, to welcome Jeff along who's got uh, an idea about how it's really useful to use a bench stop. So uh, let's say hi to, to Jeff. Hey Mitch, thank you very much. Um, hi everybody. Um, I guess a bench stop I see on the internet is not used as much as I would like. I think it's a very efficient, wonderful way to plane. A bench stop can be as simple as a block of wood at the end of your bench. It can be a piece of metal. There's so many variations. It's not so much the bench stop, it's using it. What happens? You've got a thin little piece of wood. Am I going to put that in my vise? to put a face on it and a face edge. How am I going to do that? Well, it's real simple. Goes against the stop and you're planing. You need to put it up on edge, a little more fussy, but it works. It's simple. You've got a lot of flexibility. You can pick your piece up. You can have larger pieces. You can plane. Three more. Ah, and it does tip over. And that's the good point. So if you're planing incorrectly and you do something wrong, your board falls over. It skitters across your work surface. So by using a bench stop, you have a feedback system in your woodworking. You're, if, you're, if you're not standing right, if you're not positioned well, your forces are not going towards the bench stop, you're not working in unison in that way, your piece of wood that you're trying to work on will scatter across the bench. So a simple bench stop, and it's also fast and efficient. One edge, one edge, face side, face edge, what you're doing is reasonably quick, not using a, not using a vise. Now I need to say that I prep my stock using machinery. I'm using my planes to get rid of machine marks. I'm not anymore taking material down to the level that it needs needs to be. So this is what works well for me. And I'm sure some of you folks are wondering, if I use a plane and a bench, how do I do it? Do it a little differently than maybe some folks. Stanley number five, upside down in a vise, works really well to put a quick chamfer on your boards and a couple of passes you count your passes and it works very well so yeah I'll use a I'll use a vice occasionally but a lot of times I'm putting my plane in there and I think you guys will find that if you're dealing with small stock cabinet size stock it works fine and if you need a large piece, yes, if you're planning a tabletop or something large, a big panel, a big raised panel, you need to have some better than just a simple stop. You could have a pair of stops, a board going across. You could simply grab a camera, anything, just a board, a V in it, clamp it down and work against it. Try that, see if your working becomes more efficient and uh, you get some feedback and good position and uh, make some great shavings. Thanks guys. Thanks very much Jeff. I, I certainly use a bench stop quite a lot in my work and I'll, I'll try and use it even more. Thanks very much for joining us. This was great. I appreciate it. Cheers Jeff. Cheerio. It's a high-tech conversation on the low-tech topic. Live on the World Wide Web via Zoom. Bench Talk 101.